Next speaker, Councillor Jambroni. Well, thanks very much, uh, Madam Can Chair. You know, I uh, was elected in 2003 and appointed to the Transit Commission at the same time. And we were, we were discussing St. Clair in 2003. St. Clair has got to be one of the most thoroughly planned and examined infrastructure projects this city has ever engaged in. There were more public meetings on St. Clair than, are, than have been held for any other public uh, cause in the city over the last decade. There have been more studies looked into this, more detailed reports issued on St. Clair. Each and every element of St. Clair has been examined in incredible detail by city staff, by professional city staff who, do their, who serve this council day in and day out, whether they're from fire services, the police, ambulance, TTC. All of those four services have worked along with the Transportation Department of the City along St. Clair, and they've looked at each and every case that has been raised in the tens and tens and tens of meetings, perhaps over a hundred meetings, and, and Councillor Mahavik would know this as one of the local councillors, and Councillor Palacio would know this as one of the other ones, because they must have been at those meetings. In each one, as the community raised valid concerns at the time and as each concern was dealt with in detail by city staff. We have a report that came, well we don't have a report Madam Chair, we have a letter to a, the local, a local councillor from a district chief that, that examined in detail a very, very narrow question. He was asked a very narrow question and he did the right very thing. Very he narrow. answered the question in too, detail, too but what he didn't do, and, wh and why we have a chain of command, both at the, in the fire service and here at council, he was not able to put it in the context of St. Clair as a whole, as transit, as fire safety for the whole district. And that's the benefit that we have when we have Chief Stewart, who's able to come into the situation, take a look at the example, go out there and walk it himself and examine every single meter from Guns Road to Young Street and look at each and every meter and able to take that, that letter that was answering a very detailed question, work in conjunction with the Chief General Manager of the TTC, who has over 35 years of experience, and be able to come forward and present the information here to Council with context. And what we have, Madam Chair, is we have fire, we have, um, Response times having gone up 10 or 20 seconds. Now, some members of council say is that, you know, 10 or 20 seconds is longer. Perhaps we're putting people in risk. We didn't ask, and perhaps we should have, perhaps I should have, what, what our response times are going up across the city. Because I think you might have found that there would have been similar issues in other neighborhoods without rights of way. The mayor asked a number of questions about other rights of way across the city. Spadina, Queens Key. And what we found, Madam Chair, in each of those right-of-way, and we don't have enough experience to see whether this is true on St. Clair yet, is that those rights-of-way better organized the streets. They took away a certain amount of vehicular traffic, which follows city policy, which is, uh, this city has made a very clear statement about how we want to move people. But in doing so, Madam Chair, they were able to better organize those intersections. And you know, there was a lot of doomsdayers when it came time to talk about Spadina or Queen's Key, about what would happen, whether it was property values, whether it was flow of traffic, whether it was uh, safety, and all of, those, all of those concerns have been met with subsequent studies to be found not to be true. Spadina, Queen's Key have improved traffic circulation, have improved public safety, have improved property values. Now we don't know if St. Clair will be an exact replication. But we do know, and Councillor Perks alluded to this, that we have examples from North American cities, European cities, Australian cities, all around the world we have experience about LRTs. They all have to deal with fire services, police services, and ambulance services. And we have this experience. So, you know, Madam Chair, there's a number of councillors who have fought transit improvements in the city on an ongoing basis. And there's been local councillors on the case of St. Clair who have not supported it. And that's fine. They don't have to. This is, you know, we have different perspectives on this council. But to try to, you, to try to keep bringing this back for debate when they've lost the debate, when the public have expressed confidence in this issue, is just not fair. And Madam Chair, we have a lot of transit city to build. We have 130 kilometers of rights of way. And we're going to continue to work 
the TDC will continue to work with emergency services to make sure that those rights of way are as good as they can be, are safe, are efficient, Move and we have a, and Madam Chair, Chair, we have a good carry. record on that. So, you know, Madam Chair, I, it's, I suppose, a, a, an interesting opportunity we've had today, but it's, it's too bad that some members have, um, <clears throat> have cast dispersions on our, on our city staff who work very hard to serve this council each and every day. And, you know, we've had a lot of questions answered, asked, but we've also had a lot of questions answered, and we've had very direct questions and very direct answers. And Madam Chair, there is nothing that has come up today that would suggest that there are problems with the St. Clair right-of-way, and there is nothing to suggest that has come up today to suggest that we shouldn't move forward, finish St. Clair, and then get on with the other 130 kilometers of light rail that this city so desperately needs and has been waiting for for over two decades as we've seen traffic congestion and environmental concerns raised. And Madam Chair, I hope members of council today support um, the motions to keep St. Clair moving forward, get it finished, and then let's see what a success it is and let's get on to the other business of building a transit city. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor Jim Browning.